Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And we have a very special Nike box in front of us. This was a pretty limited drop. They did do a sneakers drop today for these. And this came out at a store called Concepts. As you can see on the side is a collaboration. And this is the top of the box. We have a different inspiration of camo, paisley bandana print, the Concepts logo in a stripe pattern with almost looks like a mosaic kind of like a retro striping we've got floral the box is really cool i actually like when they do that i was actually able to get a men's size nine and a half which is not my size but this is a nike air max one sp in oil green multicolor sale there is no price on the side of the box but i believe these were 170 retail when i bought them at concepts there is the inside paper with the concepts and the floral almost reminds me of a takashi marikami without the faces and this particular pair released at Concepts on March 5th, I believe it was, 2022, for 170 I think the retail was. I will make sure that's correct. And let's get into the sneakers. So this is what we are looking at today. I'm first going to show you guys the two pairs of laces you get, which is a flat white lace with a clear tip, and this velvet kind of material in this burgundy maroon color, which I think is really a nice touch and color to match the rest going on there. And yes, you do get a burgundy pair of laces flat in there with that braided style, but this is more of a velvet and it looks really nice. Now, just to get the laces out of the way, here is a look at the sneaker and there is a little bit of a different mismatch on the pattern, so I obviously will show both. But this actually was inspired by 1960s culture, design, and music, style, stuff like that. Hence the concepts tag right here, which is actually a Nike concepts guitar pick. And I think that's a really nice concept. We have a acid wash denim style material on the upper. You have this retro striping that's embroidered on the swoosh. Let me bring this up so you guys can see the details since there's a lot on here. Mismatch on materials. Like I said, we have a denim. We have another canvas style denim. that doesn't quite feel the same, but once again, it could be a denim material. We have an embroidered swoosh with different stitching materials going down in three different colors. You have another canvas material on the back, which is like a dark paisley bandana print. Over here by the toe box, you have a horsehair style material that almost looks like a cow print in the way it's done. Your midsole is a sail color with a speckle pattern, which only looks like it protrudes halfway up until the back, and it kind of goes down on a slant like that. Your airbag looks like it's a black, but it could be a dark burgundy, but I think it's a, I think it's actually a dark burgundy to match the outsole which you'll see right there is a very dark reddish burgundy maroon color. I think that's the same color as the airbag. It's hard to tell, but I believe it is. Going around to the toe box, you do have a little bit of stitching, which has the logo of the star and the half crescent moon. Here is a look at the medial side, which actually has the embroidered flowers on the swoosh. The quality on here is really nice. The concept on the way, well, the concept on how Concepts actually did the sneaker, I think, is a really, really nice mismatch design. It's kind of like, you know, the whole what the theme that Nike's done before, if you're familiar with sneakers. There's a look at that Paisley pattern. It wasn't so predominant here on the lateral side, but on the medial, you can see it's a lot more detailed. And if you notice up here in the striping, going across here with almost like a mosaic, has Concepts right across there. And it's like a purple, blue, and like a darker purple. And your tongue going up under those burgundy looking laces is like a burgundy maroon, almost satin velvet material. It's actually, it's unique. It's different. I like it. And on the top, you have the Nike Concepts tongue with Concepts in a multicolor print. Your insole is a very interesting multi-printed concept floral retro. It's kind of just like a mismatch abstract art. And it looks like you have a Concepts logo right down there with the Nike swoosh. Once again, the insoles are really nice on these. And let me bring up the other pair. So you guys can see the patching is kind of similar, but because of the way the material is cut, it will appear different at certain points. Like you can see the cow pattern up there with the hair material is different. Same material, but just different cut. So because it's cut, it appears different on the shoe. And this insole is different than the other one. It has the CC logo for Concepts with that multicolor in the middle. Same abstract retro multicolored insole going up. There is a look at your medial side, which was the same as the other. But I will show them just so you guys can see. 
that the floral pattern looks almost identical and the paisley is a little bit different the concepts is cut almost similar so a little bit of similarities a little bit of differences here and there overall i think it's a really really cool design something definitely worth picking up if you guys can pay the retail or the resale because retail was a little high at 170 i believe for an air max but the resale is even higher now and they also released another pack besides this mellow which was i believe the heavy which i will throw a photo up those released today the day i'm shooting a video and the day i'm uploading this video so if you guys do see this they will most likely be out of stock on concepts website but they should have a wider release coming in the next week or so so other than that let me know what you think of this concepts nike air max one sp mellow down below i want to hear your thoughts on the detail the inspiration behind these what do you guys think how do you think they resemble the 1960s they do a good job and um, yeah, I heard that it's also resembled from music festivals. And one thing I did forget about on the eyelets up here, it is a corduroy purple material. I can't believe I forgot to mention that, but thank you for sticking around if you did see that just now. But other than that, I thank you guys for stopping by today. I'm going to leave the review there. I will try to answer back to everybody, get some conversation going in the comments. I hope you guys stick around. I have more good stuff coming shortly, and I hope everybody has a good day. All right.